Fellow graduates, I want you to know how much of a gift it is that we have been educated here. Regardless of all the ups and downs that we've had, whether that is because of how disappointed you've been at your own grades or just seemingly redundant arguments, not all schools push us this much to be global citizens and future scholars. And so whether you decide to continue your education or not, you will definitely benefit from what you've learned here. We also have to be thankful for our families. I remember crying when I first came here for a trial class back in 2012, but for these past nine years, our families have always been there, backing us up regardless of what we do and whether we acknowledge it or not. All those countless days and nights of screaming at us to stop watching YouTube and go to bed has come to an end, at least for the next few months. So thanks mom and dad, I would not be here today without you. Finally, we have to be thankful for each other. The friendships that we've built here will definitely last a lifetime regardless of where we go after this, and so will the motivation that we give to one another to succeed in our future endeavors. I hope that we will continually encourage and help one another out. Now, what exactly have we learned from this experience? With high school being the stepping stone to whatever we decide to pursue next, it's easy to dismiss it when thinking about the most difficult things you've been through, yeah? Easy peasy lemon squeezy, as easy as ABC, except that the ABCs have been rearranged. You've added numbers to them and you've added diacritics to them. <laughs> Who thought that doing our personal project, e-portfolios, e-assessments, dealing with the pandemic, and having all the classes at the same time was a good idea. Online classes at the same time was a good idea. Yeah, not me. But now we are through the days of stressful tests that we get on the daily to revise and we're done with juggling all of that on top of other academic, artistic, I didn't forget about you Enzo, or sporting events we have to prepare for. And most importantly, we're done with having to cover our faces when sleeping on the bus during expeditions so that Ryan doesn't take photos of us. <laughs> Now, at the end of our careers as Fairby students, or most of our careers as Fairby students, we have an opportunity. Now is the time to take on the world and to pursue our passions, to take care of ourselves and put our health over our achievements, to prioritize our attitude over our grades, as well as plan out when's the next time we'll see one another. I'm pretty sure that the last time we saw one another was right after our IDU exams and that sucked. But, but one thing I've learned from all of this is that time is gold. And you'll never know when you're going to see someone for the last time or it'll be the last time you have interacting with the people that you love. Which is why I want to share a quote by William Shakespeare and Chiming. Life is but a dream within a dream. In life, we can't always count on hard work to get us forward to where we want to be. Sometimes we just have to relax and take it easy, as Nika said. So remember to make the most out of it and most out of what's left of being a teenager because none of us are getting that back. Clarity comes from calmness and most of our business leaders, political leaders, and everyone we look up to gain, gain clarity when stress has decided to eat itself out the window. When people have not put too much pressure on themselves, they are able to put something out there that creates ripples, whether that's towards the world or merely in their own community. Greatness comes from the friends that reach out to us, the unsung heroes. They are golden. If there's anything to take from today, it's not that success comes from overworking yourself or gaining recognition. It's about making the lives of those you've crossed paths with just a little bit better. Our time here as M5 students will not just be remembered by our grades or by the number of followers you have on Instagram, but it will rather be remembered by our relationships, the kind of person you were, whether that's been with uh, your classmates, with one another, or with our teachers and our juniors. That is golden. Class of 2021, it's been an amazing nine years with every single one of you. And from the bottom of my heart, I wish you all the best with everything you take on in the future. Thank you.